What is going on everybody? Yvonne here. Now I get it. Finding the right products to sell on Amazon can be super overwhelming. Doing things manually, researching different niches, and just analyzing your guys' competition can take so much time and a lot of times it just ends in a dead end. And that's exactly where product research tools like Helium 10 come in because they can kind of automate the whole thing for you. With features like black box, x-ray, or even price alerts, you guys can always stay atop of your game and make sure that all the information is at your guys' fingertips without manually going through it. So in this guide, we're going to walk you guys through on how to utilize Helium 10 for you guys' product research so you guys work smarter and not harder. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Now I am going to be sharing my screen here, so if you guys do want to follow along or even try out the platform for yourself, there is going to be a link down below in the description. Now if you guys do use that link and actually opt in for a paid version, you guys can actually get a discounted version of the platform. The discount ranges from 10 to 20%, however, not sure when this video is going to get published, they're actually currently running a promo for 35% off, so go ahead and try out the code see if it works for you but if not you guys always get that 10 to 20 percent off cool and once we click on the link as you guys see the offer actually comes up right away so we can see using the code ecom mastery 20 comes up right so make sure to use that code at checkout or ecom mastery 10 right and it kind of depends on what plan you guys are going to get is for the first six months you can actually get 20 percent off for like pretty much like the platinum and diamond plants and the longer you use it that percentage will go down to 10 percent but that applies to both the platinum and the diamond plant and you can actually see it written right over here as well so just just make sure to use those codes at checkout to get that discount. But don't worry, you guys don't need to sign up for the paid version right away. You can make a free account. However, it is going to be a lot more limited in features. And in order to make that account, all we got to do is just press right over here on the right, sign up for free on the Helium's website, and we're going to be ready to roll. Now, once you guys log in and create that free account, here's how your user interface is going to look like. Now, essentially, when it comes to Helium, its whole goal is to be like a centralized platform for anything product research related. So if we go under tools right over here, as you guys see, there's going to be a lot of options here for us, ranging from black box to product launch pad to my list, cerebro, magnet, freedom ticket, exit ticket, scribbles, Frankenstein, search query analyzer, keyboard tracker. You guys get the point. There's a lot of things packed under the hood, but let's go over the main ones. So I'd say when most people start off, they really like the black box feature. Now, let me break it down how it actually works. So first we go ahead and actually select where we're selling, right? Because not everybody's in the United States. So we can go ahead and select, I mean, the United States version, Canada, Mexico, Germany, Spain, right? You name it. From there, we can actually select the category as well. It can be appliances, arts and crafts, automotive, be your products, books, you guys name it. I personally tend to stay away from things like fashion or jewelry, stuff like that, because that gets a very high return rate and just stick with things that people are not going to return, things that don't have too many size of variations, because you're going to have a lot of return rates and you need to store a lot of inventory. So just for example purposes, let's just go ahead and go with home and kitchen. Then from there, we can actually select if it needs improvement some or like a lot so i'll say some right keep it in the middle competition is going to be medium and we want to sell a product between 30 to 100 i think over 100 is just a big headache right it's a big ticket item at that point and monthly revenue let's keep it niche right we don't want it too big because we don't be competing against big players so let's have a thousand ten thousand now this is going to be a simple version if you do want to be more advanced you can go right over here and honestly that's where i'd say like i would spend more of my time just because here we can go ahead and actually modify the specific price points and just kind of modifying when it comes to reviews or ratings or how long the posting has been on there and that's going to give you guys a lot more accurate information so if we actually scroll down here select appliance yeah so if we go down here we select home and kitchen and you guys know that reviews are kind of like currency when it comes to amazon and the pro tip here is like don't have the review number be too big because then you're competing against huge players that have 5,000 reviews like you're just not going to get market share from there so just have it like under 50 review rating try to have it be like better than like let's say two but max let's say 4.2 because then there's something to improve upon best seller rank right I'm not going to explain it too much but essentially that's how kind of amazon determines what's good or not but you can go ahead and select the number there listing age right you guys can play around with this but the longer something's been on the market the harder it's going to be to compete against shipping size again this kind of depends on your guys's fulfillment abilities same thing with weights and fulfillment um i don't think there's too much of a difference but you can go ahead and select amazon fba or fbm so if you guys want to manually kind of fulfill it and from here you can actually select the exact brand or exact seller or how many number of sellers there are to make sure that it's not too competitive and select it with price to make sure that the price is not too crazy but once you guys are ready you've inserted all the categories that you guys care about go ahead and press search cool and it actually made a list of 200 products for us and there's a ton of information here but we can actually also go ahead and actually click on that specific product kind of see exactly what it is what it entails and if we scroll down we can see all the different descriptions here when it comes to the sales rank what the price is 
list price, stuff like that. But again, this is going to be fairly niche here and you're probably not going to get it right away. So I would just go through all of those and see which one resonates with you guys the most. And it is going to be a game of trial and error, but the system can help you guys sort this out much quicker. And now the second thing that I would highly suggest is to make sure that you guys get that Chrome extension for Helium 10. So go over here, right? Find Helium 10. Make sure you get that. It's going to make you guys life a lot easier. And let me show you what I'm talking about. When we go to Amazon, right? We can have this little widget right over here that can literally like scope out and work with us while we're in Amazon. So if I type in dog toys, I can go right over here, press on x-ray, and that's literally going to kind of analyze anything dog toys related. And it's going to give you all the statistics. And it's going to show you guys the price, recent purchases, parent level sales, the revenue associated with it, different fees, ratings, right? How many active sellers and just overall, like how much search volume is getting total revenue, average revenue, average price, average number of reviews, so on and so forth. So in order to access like the further features, you do need to upgrade to the premium version. However, with the free version, you guys kind of get the idea that as you guys are scrolling through Amazon, this can be just another tool to speed up the whole process. And as you guys start, I know I use Doc Toys as an example, but I would stay away from very generic categories. Now, here's why. If I'm putting like chair or if I'm putting Doc Toys, it can be so difficult to stand out. What you guys want to do is in the beginning, find your specific niche, right? It's like find something that you guys have that you guys can find that's not too competitive that not a lot of people are doing. And from there, do it really well, get some sales and you can grow from there. Because if you guys start too broad, you'll be competing against very large players that have been in the space for a long time and you're just going to get beat. And with Amazon, sometimes you do need to put large orders of the item you're actually ordering. So it can be a costly game. And that's what I mean when it comes to x-rays or black box, make sure that you guys are actually putting things that are going to be very, very niche. And that way you can capitalize on it. So that's pretty much like a 10,000 feet overview over how the system works and how people use it. But there's so many other tools that people use. So if we go back to tools right over here, we can see that alerts and that helps you guys monitor products and that can help you guys and give you guys alerts when something changes, when things are hot and when things are active. And that way you don't need to have 20,000 different tabs open and just monitor them all the time. The system can actually give you guys alerts when something changes and that way you don't have to manually do it. You can also sort things through keywords. So if we go to right over here to keywords, we can go ahead and similar to black box, find specific products based on search volume, monthly revenue, price, review count, review ratings, and workout when it comes to a specific keyword. And that's going to be a game changer, especially as you guys know what niche you guys want to go into, because you can just test out different keywords, see which ones are actually making revenue and which ones are not. And that way you can kind of double down on what is working and cut short what is not. And honestly, I think the big power of the platform really comes in when you put everything together. Like for example, let's say you guys are monitoring a specific keyword, you can go ahead and have alerts on it. Like for example, if the reviews drop or if the price changes, right? Or if there's new variations are added or if the competition rises. And honestly, I feel that Helium's platform works the best whenever you put different tools together and have them work side by side. Like for example, let's say we find our niche, right? Like we're monitoring certain keywords. We can go ahead and have alerts work with them as well. So let's say within a specific niche, we can get alerts if the reviews drop, if competition rises, if the price changes. And that way we know if it's a good time to enter or to back out. And honestly, through all these tools right over here, and we don't have time to go through them one by one, but it gives you guys like a whole ecosystem to make sure that you guys' product research goes smoothly. Because if the systems are disconnected and disjointed, how are we going to know if the product is good or it's not? And that's where I think Helium takes the gold medal just because it has everything under one roof and that way nothing slips to the cracks. And as you guys are brainstorming and comparing products against one another or keywords, I'll go ahead and add them to you guys' list right over here for products or keywords. And that way, as things change, as you guys are getting more alerts, you can have things side by side and see which ones are working and which ones are not. Because at the end of the day, these automations allow you guys to be agile and change you guys' strategy without all that manual input. And as you guys play around with the system and look at different tools when it comes to product research, keyword research, or analytics, you'll start seeing how they kind of piece together and they can work as one. And in addition to that, make sure that you guys get this extension going as well, because connecting that x-ray to you guys' platform can keep everything in one place and send information directly from Amazon to your guys' Helium account. As you guys saw, that by automating your guys' Amazon product research, it kind of takes the guesswork out of finding winning products. Instead of relying on trends and gut feelings, you guys can rely on data and that way your guys' product research is going to be a lot more systematic. So if you guys do want to try out the platform, the link for it is going to be below down in the description. And if you guys found this video helpful, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe for more videos like this as it tremendously helps support the channel. Till next time, peace.